So first of all, let's go in and set in our new body type, body type human. Nothing's still happening? Well, that's because we haven't set a sex yet. We need to decide whether this is a male or female model. So let's go ahead and say male and generate again. Oh, nothing's happened. Why? Well, it's because we don't have anything set up for it. We don't have any mesh segments to pull from, so it's just going to the default skeleton. So let's go ahead and set up some new mesh segments. First, let's go into our body type. Now we can give it a name. This doesn't really matter much, but you may want to pull that data later, say if you're doing character customization. Now let's first add some master skeletons. It's important that every skeletal mesh that you use in your body matches the master skeleton. So let's go ahead and set up a male one for now. And we'll go ahead and use, oh, I don't know. We got plenty of body pieces from this. We're going to go ahead and set up, use the full mesh. Once you have that done, let's go back to our character and, oh, he's gone. Well, of course he's gone, because while we've set up a master skeleton so we know we can actually assemble this character, we have no segment libraries to pull from. So let's go ahead and add some. Let's go ahead and add a one for his head, his torso, and his legs. And I believe we also need one for his hands as well, but we probably only need one for those. So now we have these set up. These are our different segment libraries. So these are be the different segments of the body, naturally. However, before we can pull any meshes, we need to create mesh segment libraries. So let's go ahead and create one for each of these. Now that, have we, now that we have something set up for each one of these, let's go ahead and get inside them. So in here is the mesh segment library. Once again, you can give this a specific name in case you want to pull that somewhere. Now let's go ahead and add some meshes. Once again, we'll need to separate these by sex. Now, since this pack only comes with one head normally, I've just gone ahead and set up a second one with a different texture on it to give a different look to demonstrate how the switching works. So let's go ahead and add that one in too. And now we have two heads to choose from. So I've gone ahead and set up new mesh libraries for each one of these segments. So I have at least one mesh in for each of them. Now, if I go back to our third person character, uh, nothing's happened. Well, that's just because I have the set on segment meshes and we don't have the proper code up for that yet. Change this to merged meshes and boom there's our character and we can customize the head like I showed before